Greetings, nine-year-olds. I am Max Diddley, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to save PewDiePie using Java. So, I have created a bot, a simple bot, and this bot will subscribe you to PewDiePie and unsubscribe you from T-Series if you are subscribed to them. So, before I show you how to make this bot, I'm going to show you how the bot works and the bot actually doing what I've programmed it to do. So, we click play. We have just subscribe to PewDiePie. That's good. Now I need to unsubscribe from T-Series so we can be forgiven for our sinful actions. So the bot is going to click on T-Series subscribe button and it's going to then click unsubscribe and there you go. We have subscribed to T-Series, no we have subscribed to PewDiePie and unsubscribed from T-Series. We are going to save him guys, don't worry. Mr. Beast has abandoned us for a bit, but uh, I can fill in the shoe. You see, I may not have loads of money to throw at adverts, but I can make code. Yeah! So, now that I've shown you that it works, let's get into how we do it. Firstly, import all of these libraries. We're going to be using all of them. We are using a lot of libraries here. A bunch of things like color, desktop, mouse info, point, pointer info, robot, input event, key event, URI, and concurrent time unit. So, let's get right into how the code works. So, before we begin, we need to set up a try-catch method. We want to do try catch exception ex. So, what does this do? Basically, with try-catch, we try a piece of code. If an error occurs, we execute what's in the catch. If all this code works, you just move on to what's ever after the catch code. That's how a try catch works. Now what we want to do is we want to do if desktop dot is desktop su supported. This ensures we can use the desktop class, which allows us to open up web browsers and URLs. Now what we want to do is we want to create a desktop object and open up a URL. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing desktop.getDesktop.BrowseNewURI and then PewDiePie subscription URL. And this is going to basically open up the web, a web browser, the default web browser on the computer, and take you to the subscription URL. So we are close to getting someone to subscribe to PewDiePie using this bot. Unfortunately, YouTube has thwarted us. And what YouTube's done is they have implemented a uh, can you confirm that you want to subscribe to PewDiePie? This makes a bot, creating a bot harder, but we can outsmart them. What we need to do is we need to create a new robot and we can use robot bot equals new robot. You can call this bot anything you want, but basically we're creating an instance of the robot class and we can do a bunch of cool stuff with this. So what we can do, we can actually move the mouse cursor with this object. So we can do bot.mouseMove and then set coordinates for where we want to put the mouse. So we're going to be placing this mouse cursor on the confirm subscription button. So we can confirm we want to sub subscribe to PewDiePie because we want to so we can remain number one. Now, there's a small issue. Uh, we c pro this code is going to execute instantly. Unfortunately, web pages take time to load. So we want to actually implement some form of delay to make sure the web page fully loads so we actually click the button and not just click before the button shows up. So we're going to be doing timeunits.seconds.sleep4. You can change this based on your internet speed, but I'm going to be doing four seconds just to show you the mouse jumping positions, but also just so I can talk through it but also so uh, to accommodate for my internet connection, which is unreliable in a unique campus. Now we actually want to make the click occur. So what we can do is we can use two lines of code. Bot.mousepress input event dot button one mask. Then we do bot mouse release input event button mask one. Button mask one is basically left clicking like a normal click. Input event is just um, an event detector for Java. It basically detects the different inputs like keyboard, mouse, that type of thing. Uh, mouse press is a method which is basically, oh, if we click the mouse and hold it down. Mouse release is if we take our finger off the mouse key we have held down. We need to do both as we don't just want to hold our mouse. 
we want to click it and to stimulate a click we have to press and release and bot is referring to our robot we made before which allows us to do all this cool stuff so we've clicked this confirm subscription we actually want to now wait again just to make sure youtube confirms the subscription and allow the web page to load now what we want to do is show another thing we can do with the bot and that is stimulate keyboard input into text boxes and text fields so what we do is we're going to move our mouse all the way to the top to the YouTube search bar and now what we can do is like in real life if you want to type something in a search box you have to click it so what we're gonna do we are gonna stimulate a click on the YouTube text box when we stimulate that we are now gonna be doing a series of keyboard inputs with our bot so what are we doing here we're doing bot dot key press key event dot then a key identifier. So you do VK underscore then the key that you're inputting. For instance, if we want to input the T key, we can do VK underscore then T. To do S, we do VK underscore for S. And that it's the same for the alphabet and numbers. And if we want to do something like the enter key, we can do VK underscore then the word enter for the enter key. So what do we do? We do bot dot, then we do pre key press, then we do key event dot, then we do the key we want to input so we're doing they all have to be on separate lines to prevent weird errors from occurring but basically we are going to be entering t-series into the box into the youtube search box we don't need to do this like we're going to be getting to their channel via url but i just wanted to show this as this is an educational channel i have to teach you more than just how to make clicks with a bot by the way, the word bot can be called anything because the word bot is just referencing the object we made and the object can be called anything we want. Now we're going to just go to the T-Series YouTube channel and to do that, we're going to do what we did before. We're going to do desktop.get desktop, browse, new, URI, then the T-Series URL. Not the subscription URL though because we don't want to subscribe to them. We're also going to do a wait to make sure the web page loads. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move the mouse to where the subscription button would be. After that, we are there now need to basically detect if the subscribe button is red or not. Because if it's red, that means we're not subscribed and we don't want to click it because we don't want to subscribe to T-Series. However, if we want to unsubscribe, we need to know, we need a way of detecting if the subscription button is red or not. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Firstly, we need to get the position of our mouse cursor because we've put it on the subscribe button. So we can use the pointer info class to basically create an object which is going to store the X and Y coordinates of our mouse. So we do pointer info, then a name for the object. We're going to call it mouse. Then I'm going to do mouse info dot get, get pointer info. This also gets more information that is aren't coordinates such as DPI, but we won't go into that for now. Now we can do create a point object, which is basically storing two coordinates, X and Y. We can do point, then the name of an object, I'm going to call it mouse location, equals mouse.getLocation. Mouse.getLocation gets the X and Y coordinates of your mouse. So now we have a mouse location object, which currently has the X and Y values of our mouse, and we need to get them. So what we can do, we can do mouse, we can create an integer, and we're going to call it mouse X. And we can basically get the mouse location and tell it to get the x from it using mouse location dot get x we put int in brackets here to convert it to an integer so we can store it as an int we do the same for the y variable whenever we want to get data from an object we reference the object then the method afterneath afterwards so now that we've gotten the details of the mouse we are going to do one more sleep and this is going to be for six seconds. This is just to ensure the web page loads with no issue. Now, what are we going to do? Well, basically, we need to use the Java color object because we're going to basically be looking at pixel colors to detect if it's red or not. So, what are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to be creating two color objects. We're going to firstly be doing color, then we're going to call it T series sub color equals bot. Remember, referencing the bot we made before. And we're going to get the pixel color of wherever the mouse is and we've gotten the coordinates of the mouse here and basically we're going to be passing in mouse x and mouse y these two variables because they have the coordinates of the mouse and we're going to detect what color that pixel is also we're going to create a color object for what the color should be 
for a subscribe button which says subscribe because someone hasn't subscribed to that channel yet. It will be red and white. We're gonna get, we're gonna be de detecting for a red pixel where our mouse goes. So the RGB color for red is 25500. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. So basically what this is gonna be doing is we're gonna be saying, okay, what color is the pixel where our mouse is? And we also said, okay, we want to look out for a red pixel. So what do we do now? Well, basically, if it's red, we don't click anything. However, if it's not red, that means someone is subscribed to T-Series. So we need to basically unsubscribe by clicking. So what we do, we do if not T-Series color dot equals not subscribe button. Basically, this code will check if the T-Series color is equal to the not subscribe button. If Basically, this is checking if it's equal to red. If it's equal to red, then we want to do, then we don't want to do anything. So what we can do is, we can do if not equal to red, which basically means it has to be white, or if YouTube changed the color of the subscribe button when it's subscribed, we need to unsubscribe. So basically, if it's not red, meaning that someone is subscribed to T-Series, we're going to do what we did before. We're gonna click, then we're gonna wait a second. YouTube is smart. You have to confirm if you want to unsubscribe from a channel. So you wait a second for that confirmation to pop up. Then we move the mouse to where the unsubscribe button is in the confirmation box. After that, we wait a couple more seconds to make sure it loads. Then we click again and we have done the right thing by unsubscribing from, from T-Series. And then after we're gonna just print something to the consoles like saying, uh, saved him. And in here we can do anything we want. I know, let's put a print for Rip PewDiePie, because we couldn't unsubscribe from him because an error occurred. Anyway guys, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comments if you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to PewDiePie. Uh, keep him at number one, obviously. We, we know. I think the nine-year-old army can do it with the help from this tutorial. If you would like a sequel to this, where I teach you how you can automate uh, creating YouTube accounts, and how to loop through them all doing this method, uh, let me know in the comments below and I will maybe make a sequel. Also subscribe to me because I'm awesome. I create interesting programming tutorials to help people get A's in their exams. Also, India seems to like my channel as well. Yeah, so great. I'm going to get loads of views now and become famous. Anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience and I shall see you next time.